One sign you might want to try out some booster pads is if you have the occasional leak. If you occasionally have some minor leaking around the leg holes of your diaper before you can break for a change, this is a good sign that you would benefit from using a booster pad. Adding that extra boost of absorbency can help make you a lot more comfortable until you can make it to that next break. The good thing about booster pads is there are a lot of different types to choose from and they come in different sizes and absorbencies. This basically gives us the ability to choose how much extra absorbency we feel we might need. Another sign you might want to go with a booster pad is if you notice the fluid tends to collect in a particular area of your diaper. As an example, there's a lot of times where I feel the need to change, the discomfort of the need to change, but the back side of my diaper is actually still dry. This is because for me, the fluid tends to accumulate towards the front of the diaper, causing the fluid to build up and saturate around the leg cuffs. For you, this collection point may be different depending on your specific anatomy and your bodily positioning. I imagine for those of you who may be wheelchair bound that the fluid tends to accumulate towards the back or the buttocks area of the diaper. Wherever this collection point is for you, this is where you want to try and place your booster pads. This is obviously where the booster pad will be the most effective. That's where all the fluid goes and that's where you need the extra absorbency. One thing to keep in mind is that when it comes to booster pads, you're going to want to go with a booster pad with an adhesive tape on the back. When a booster pad doesn't have the adhesive strip, they can slide around, get bunched up, and they can end up causing more leaks than they prevent. This is why it's important to go with a booster pad that is the right size and fit for the kind of diaper that you're wearing. Any booster pad with an adhesive strip will stay in place, thus increasing your levels of comfort. And feeling comfortable is really important to feeling confident. So I want to take a moment today to tell you about this product that I'm working on developing called Dynamo's Diaper Powder. If you follow me on Twitter or Instagram, or even if you pay attention to my static posts right here on YouTube, you may already know that I've been working on developing my own diaper powder. Turns out the powder game is a lot more interesting and complex than you might expect. I just figured now was the time to start telling you about it because the soft launch of the beta batch will be happening soon. So if you want to stay up to date with everything I'm working on, hit that subscribe button. The goal of my channel and my diaper powder are the same as booster pads to increase your comfort level. When it comes to choosing the right booster pad for you, it comes down to how much extra absorbency you think you need. You could always add more than one booster pad to a diaper as well. So if you want to go with the smaller booster pads to start with and you end up feeling like you need more of a boost than what the one booster pad gives you, you can always add another one. You do want to be careful when doubling up with booster pads because you want to make sure that they remain within the walls of the leak guards. Sometimes when you double them up and you're not paying attention, they could lay over the leak guard, causing a channel of fluid to flow out over the leak guard out of the diaper. Other times, if you stack them up or if you don't stagger them properly, it can create a wall or a channel where the fluid hits the side of the booster pad and comes out of the diaper rather than being absorbed by the booster pad. So the placement of booster pads in between the leak guards is pretty important to preventing leaks. It's important that we feel confident that we're preventing leaks because if when we don't feel confident in our products, we don't feel confident in going out. This apprehension is one of the many signs that your issues are keeping you from socializing. For more on the signs that diapers are keeping you from socializing, check out this video next. Until next time, stay dry.